Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll start with a BAP object oriented concepts. What is a BAP OOPS? The full form of OOPS is object oriented programming system. This a BAP OOPS is majorly based upon two things. The first one is class and the second one is object. Now, what is class and what is object? A class is a collection of objects. Now, question comes, what are those objects? Those objects can be methods, it can be attribute, it can be event, it can be interfaces, it can be friends. So whenever you are combining all these things, it makes a class. Anyways, in the future, we will learn all these things. What is method? What is attribute? What is event? What is interface? So what is class? A class is a collection of objects. Now, what is object? A object is an instance of the class. Or I will say a object is an result of a class. Yes. Now, this whole OOPS is based upon these two concepts. The first one is class and the second one is object. Suppose simple thing I will say. Suppose I have a class, suppose phone. I have two types of phone. Suppose Samsung is there, iPhone is there. For Samsung phone, I have width and height. For iPhone also, I have width and height. So these are two different objects, but they belong to the same class that is phone. So what is class? A class is a collection of objects. Now, in SAP ABAP, we have two types of classes. Now, what are those two types of classes? First one is global class and the second one is local class. What is global class? term itself is suggesting whenever you will create a global class, you can reuse that particular class. Suppose simple example. In whenever you are creating a structure, table, domain, data element with the help of SC11, you can reuse anywhere. You can use in programs. You can use in function modules. Similar cases here. Whenever you will create a global class, you can reuse anywhere that global class. Now, what is local class? Local class means we'll just go to any of the program. We will create everything with the help of classes. But whatever the classes you will create in that program, you cannot use in any other program. So that is your local class. Suppose simple example. I'm creating a structure with the help of SC11. It is a global structure because you can use in any number of programs. But whenever you are creating a structure in a program itself with the help of types statement, you cannot use in any other program. The similar case is here. Whenever we will write the code in a program with the help of with the help of a local class, I cannot use in any other program. But if I will create a global class and I will do everything in that global class, I can reuse that global class in multiple number of programs. Now. Whenever we will create a global class, the transaction code is SC24. 
it is that transaction code for class data. So we will create the global classes with the help of SC24 and local classes. Yes, anyways, we will write in a program. So we will create with the help of SC38 only. Now, we have four types of global classes. First one is usual ABAP class. Now, what is usual ABAP class? If we compare it to our core ABAP, it is equal to function module of core ABAP. It is equal to function module of core ABAP. In core ABAP, you are writing the logic in function module. In ABAP, oops, whenever I want to write the logic, I will write the logic in usual ABAP class. Now, what is exception class? Its purpose is to raise and handle the exception. So when I can do this thing with the help of exception class. Now I will come on to persistence class. What is persistence class? Its purpose is to perform database operation. If you remember in Cora BAP, we are doing the database operation by insert, update, and delete commands. If we want to do the same thing, we can do with the help of persistence class. The fourth type of class is unit test class. What is the purpose of unit test class? Its purpose is to write the unit test cases. So we have four types of global classes. We will create every each and every type of class. We'll learn the practical part. But whenever we will create any of these type of global class, we will create with the help of SC24 transaction code. So what we discussed in this particular video, this what is oops, what is class, what is object, and what are the various types of classes in a back oops. So in the next video, we'll start with our first global class that is our usual ABAP class. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.